unfortunately in the beginning stages of the kidney disease. There may be no signs or symptoms. It's only detected by doing a blood test or a urine test. However, in the late stages, uh, in stage four and five in particular, the patients may experience fatigue, increased weakness. They may have GI symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, they lose their appetite, and they may have weight loss. Also, they have trouble sleeping, and in certain occasions, they may have puffiness and swelling in both lower extremities and ankles. It is imperative that high-risk people should be tested on annual basis uh, to detect chronic kidney disease by doing blood work and urinalysis, and also to be very aggressive in treating the underlying cause, such as diabetes, hypertension, uh, or any other causes leading to the disease. Uh, we always ask about the optimal control of the diseases associated with the uh, CKD or chronic kidney disease, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and hyperlipidemia. Also, we have to recognize the complications associated with the chronic kidney disease, such as anemia, bone disease, fluid and electrolyte imbalances. And also advise the patients to avoid any uh, toxic medications to the kidneys. It is also important to follow a certain diet, mainly low protein diet. 